Testing one, two, three, stone check. This is Frankie in the house and uh, doing defense is uh, starting streaming in a few minutes time. Just doing a little sound check to find out why the music isn't happening. There should be music coming in. Sorry? Yeah, thanks. God. And the music's not happening. So I'll check testing one, two, three. Sound test. Sound test, one, two, three. Sound check. <sighs> Why is the music not coming in? Sound test. Frank in the house and uh, one more sound check. Two more minutes to arena time. Sound check, one, two, three. <laughs> Testing one, two, three. So I'll test. Sound check. Okay, sounds working fine. I think I can hear the music now. No, I can't. What a joke. Still no music? Hello. 
Oh well, no music still. Oh bummer. <laughs> uh, oh man I can't understand it Sound check one, two, three. Microphone, microphone, microphone.
So I'll test one to three. Check one, two, three. Okay, I should be getting music right now at a, at a decent level. How's the sound right now?
Yeah, this is Durin Defense and uh, Frankie Cub from Malaysia. And uh, right now, I'm just gonna be about uh, ready to start with my stream. So, I think I've managed to get the uh, music to work finally. Hopefully, nothing breaks in between. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing just fine. Hi, this is uh, Frankie Kam, aka Durin Defense, and uh, thank you for uh, dropping by the stream. So right now I'm going to be playing a challenge with uh, Liberal Soy Boy, I think. So I'm a Malaysian streamer. The last time I streamed, I think it was about three months ago, four months ago, maybe even five months ago. It's kind of busy with work, but now I think uh, things are a bit more manageable. So let me just try to look for. Uh, or soy boy, liberal soy boy here and I'm just gonna play a few games so just gonna take it nice and easy let's just go to members and uh, let's look for well it's not a title player right liberal soy boy that's the one here we go let's issue a challenge and uh, let me just text him to see whether it's a 10 minute game is, is okay 10 minute game unrated uh, liberal soy boy how about a 10 minute game unrated okay so i'm gonna create one right now it's uh, unrated and it's a 10 minute game yeah liberal soy boy can't uh, challenge me because he hasn't got enough uh, games played there's a new account so let's just uh, challenge him Just let me check the lighting whether everything's okay. Should be fine. Uh, camera. Whoa, what's, why is that happening? Okay, so the game is on right now. So let's have a go. Uh, let me just go into the full mode here. Yep, the screen's uh, looking quite okay right now. So I'm just gonna play my uh, specialty opening. Kind of a rubbish opening actually. But uh, in case, it's all done for fun. In the name of fun and uh, it's, an, it's an unrated game so you know there's no absolutely no pressure whatsoever so i hope that uh, you're able to hear the music just fine and uh, my voice is coming right through i can look at the i can see the monitor i'm monitoring the sounds and it seems quite okay okay so bishop takes uh, h6 so let's uh, play that okay uh, hold on let me just send a text here right now Streaming live on twitch.tv slash Defense. 
if you are free, do drop by. Excuse me. <laughs> and or chat or challenge. Hey Arsenal, uh, fan rich, also fan richie, good to see you, hi, yeah I've uh, started streaming again, I think the last time I streamed was like nearly four, four and a half months ago, so uh, let me just put my chatty on so I can see the uh, chat a little bit better, okay there you go, uh, how, how have I been, I've been okay, uh, of course uh, staying safe and uh, still working from home mostly, hope you're doing okay uh, Arsenal rich, fan richie, good good that's good uh is my music just okay i think you can hear my my sound my, my audio is pretty loud uh my voice is quite loud and the music is just okay i think yeah music levels perfect hey thanks a lot man thanks a lot the only thing i'm not really monitoring is uh, how my webcam looks like but of course i can see it only if i turn my head on the other way otherwise i'm looking uh not directly straight now i'm looking directly straight at my logitech so anyway, it's kind of fun uh, getting back into streaming and uh, I'm playing against uh, one of our members in a WhatsApp group, his name is, uh, well, uh, well there you go, Liberal Soy Boy, Liberal Soy, Soy short for Soya I think, I'm not very sure. So hope you're doing fine uh, Arsenal fan, Richie, uh, I've been looking around quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, quite a quite a username. You mean liberal soy boy? Yeah, I've been uh, um, a bit active in the in the chat groups on various channels for the past few months. Uh, I haven't really stopped going to Twitch, checking out the various channels, and just enjoying chatting, being part of the chat engine, so to speak, if there's such a thing. So now, uh, yeah. Anyway, if you're looking at my screen, this is actually from uh, chess.com. Yeah, uh, I've actually managed to put an animated. Uh, just you can forget about the arena, the arena's called off. Uh, I managed to put an animated uh, GIF into the background of chess.com and I can actually change it to any, any animated GIF that I want as long as the animated GIF file isn't uh, too large or too big. Whose turn is it right now? Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> some of the things that I can do here. Hold on, let me just adjust my screen a little bit. Uh, let's see now now I can actually remove the board if I wanted to there the board's gone right now I can put it back I can remove the the right sidebar the sidebar's gone yeah so I have uh, control over it and uh, let me just try to change the uh, I like the pieces very modern yeah not everybody likes uh, the red pieces but this one uh, is it's pretty good contrast uh, both the uh, sign pieces and uh, sign blue pieces as well as the uh, red the red these are this is called a neon piece set yeah and it's uh it's very uh, modern yeah so what I've done is I've actually made use of the overlay uh, board and now it's using the overlay board so you can right, actually see right through it and uh, you can see into the animation Matches well with the background GIF, yeah. So I've been uh, experimenting quite a bit with the interface and uh, trying to, to hack certain things because uh, I wanted something uh, different from just the normal, uh, usual uh, 2D chess boards that you can see. This is just one example, I've got a few others as well. <laughs> but not everything's, um, it's not a one size fits all, one size shoe fits all, it's all depending on taste. So anyway, I'm playing the Dorian defense here right now. Hey there, Penguin Monkey, good to see you, man. Sasal the King, good to see you guys. Yeah, uh, long time no see. I haven't been streaming for about four months, or nearly five months. So this is the first time I've, I've come back to streaming. So uh, 
<clears throat> hope you like the interface and uh, maybe in a couple of minutes time i'll change the uh, background so that you can see something different and uh, actually i can also change on the fly here i can change the pieces on the fly right now so let's say i go to bubble gum uh, hold on a second did that work no i'm sorry that, that only works on the chest sorry on the chest i'm able to change the positions on the fly Oh, you mean the interface, the position? <laughs> okay, okay. You like my position, brother? The interface. Okay, that's why. Hi, hi, mono, monosopiat, monosopiat. Yeah, welcome back, Frank. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks for the welcome. Uh, I'm welcoming myself back too as well. So uh, tonight's the uh, first night of streaming for nearly five months, I think. Hey, what's up, monso? Okay, that's uh, Bishop check. Hey, Arsenal, Richie fan, and Monso Pet. Yeah, these guys, yeah, your names are so familiar uh, from the time that I you know, started streaming back in October last year. And it's almost a year gone by already. <coughs> so, as usual, I was struggling with the audio just now. That's why I started a little bit late. Uh, how are you guys doing? Monso Pet, good to see you again. Hope you're doing okay. Let me just move my uh, chatty window closer to the chess board so that I can monitor the chat faster. Yeah, how quick the year has gone by, that's true. The year has gone by and uh, it's already coming up to end of August, Merdeka, Independence Day. Okay, uh, Liberal Soy Boy is, uh, is taking a little bit of a beating here. Arnold Arsenal Richie, you managed to hit 12,300 rapid for the first time recently, which is nice. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good rating. 2003 is something uh, to be envied, I think. Not many people can get 2003 rapid, especially. I mean, uh, some milestones are what? 2000, maybe before that, <coughs> 1008, and then 2000, and definitely 2005 is a super milestone. Then after that, you've got 2007, of course. But 2003, congratulations. How did you How did you manage to do it? You played a lot of rapid. You, you do a lot of, uh, uh, you know, did you get coaching or did you study on your own what what made the difference OFC online ratings are to be taken with a pinch of salt okay o OFC uh, what's OFC stand for opposite of over the board online free of charge I, I can't remember I don't know what OFC stands for sorry I'm a bit of a noob in that in that aspect uh, if I can try to find a way to increase, of course, oh, OFC, of course, okay, thanks, of course, OFC, OFC, of course, of course. Uh, let me just change my font a little bit, yeah, messages, font, Arial 12 to maybe 16, so that's slightly bigger, so I don't have to squint, ah, that's good. Uh, yeah, wife and two kids, okay. Oh, there's a hanging queen there. So check, sorry. Yeah, so uh, I still got my job. I'm still working in the in the IT line in this English language provider company. Uh, my wife is giving tuition. My two girls they are studying at home. One is in Form Five and uh, taking the exams ne earlier next year. Another one just uh, started university. Of course, everything is online. <coughs> How's it going, uh, Penguin Monkey? I enjoy watching your streams. Yeah. Uh, let's do a verbal shout out to Penguin Monkey and other streamers who are in the chat. Let's see, there's uh, Hakim Life. Hey, Hakim, good to see you, man. Hey, yeah, uh, welcome to my stream. <laughs> uh, not everybody will like the interface, but anyway, uh, what do you think of it? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to try a little something here. Yeah, uh, Hakim, I'm going to just change the background immediately and uh, just. Let me move this out of the way. Uh, what do I have here? Okay, I'm going to change to this uh, green. Okay, hold on a second. This is my uh, chess.com overlay. So now with a little uh, little bit of magic, I'm going to put in another another uh, animated GIF at the background there. And on top of that, I'm going to remove this overlay board there. And, and now the overlay board is gone, totally gone. Now, of course, the uh, background isn't as... Uh, the chessboard is not as, uh, how should I say, as clear as it should be because the background is pretty white. Yeah, the background is pretty bright. Uh, if the background was was darker, then the difference, the contrast between the 
uh, white squares and dark squares to be really, really uh, uh, stark or more, more evident. So uh, let me just turn back on the overlay here. Now you can't really see what I'm doing because it's not being shared. But uh, let me just turn back the overlay. Uh, what's, what's the word for it? Hold on a second. Uh, okay, he resigned. Okay, so now, now I get this back, yeah? Okay. So basically, I can put in any animated GIF at the back there. And... Uh, okay, let me let me ask whether I can rematch with uh, Liberal Soy Boy one more time. Yep, I got my rematch. So let's see if I can play my Kali system. Yeah, it's kind of trippy, right? Uh, so let me just change the background. I only have a few backgrounds set up, but I can set up infinite number of backgrounds. So let's go for... Oh, was this the one just now? Yeah, that was the one, right? So let, let me put in one more. Okay, now this one, this one is uh, called the uh, I call it the vodka on the rocks because basically, okay, uh, give it a, give it a, some ten seconds or so for the animation to pick up because uh, the file is quite big. And hopefully, it will it won't lag so much. Okay, so right now you can see the uh, board is uh, translucent. You can see right through it, and if I were to remove, ah, uh, there goes the animation. It's, it's working fine right now. Oh, it's my wife here. My wife is <laughs> bombing me. <laughs> hey, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so let me just change the uh, overlay. I'm just gonna remove the overlay board. Now, of course, you can't. This is not very good because the rocks are kind of bright, and so it's kind of hard to see. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put back my my custom overlay back. But sometimes it works if the background is. Uh, it's really dark then it then it works fine yeah so anyway uh basically i can i can uh, do all this uh, hold on a second it's my turn right now okay what else can i do right now yeah that was my that was my missus uh her name is julie so she doesn't play chess but she <laughs> she's my supporter <laughs> Hey GM uh, Daniel TPL, happy also paired and others. Yeah, Julie as in J U L E E. Hey, don't don't poke my side. We call her Mrs Frank or or Julie. That's that's perfectly fine. So so basically, I can take any animated GIF uh, and I can I can put it there. Now also I've got uh, control over the interface whereby I can actually remove off the or I can remove off the uh i can remove the whole board actually yeah i can remove off the pieces uh, so basically we're playing a blindfold here then i can remove off the board uh, and i can remove off everything i can nuke I can nuke everything so, so right now you're just looking at the uh the logos in the chat and the animated gif background so let me just put it back on here uh so these are some of the things that i can do Yeah, uh, this is a B3, Bishop D3 main line. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not so good with the theory. I haven't really checked out the videos on the Collie, but it seems like something White doesn't want to trade off his... Yeah, well, in this case, if he trades off, then, then I get a pawn in the center. So I, I suppose it's okay. But I'm not an expert in the Collie, so... Uh, I'm just trying it in... in, in uh, to replace my Knight H3 dubious uh, armor opening. You wondered if Bishop F5 C4 was strong. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but sometimes it's okay to, I don't know. Sometimes I think it's okay to to strengthen the center by putting a pawn pawn triangle there. And in some cases, White can get a pawn storm on the king side. Uh, I mean, pawn to E3 blocks your dark square bishop from coming out. And the whole purpose of the London is to bring the knight, bring the bishop out to f4 so that it doesn't get blocked by the pawn on e3. So this is big counter, like a poor, uh, poor cousin of the London, as it were. So uh, on chess.com, I, I find that most of the chess pieces they are mostly dark, black, and white. You know. There's only a one or two which are brightly colored like uh, bubblegum and neon. 
and maybe one more like nature is a bit more yellowish color okay so in this case because there's no uh, there's no g3 in this case because there's no g3 uh, g6 pawn there so i i can't do really the h4 h5 uh, harry pawn push doesn't really do much for me i think so let's just uh, castle here you have a friend in real life who plays a collie and uh, and you know that there are some powerful attacking traps for white uh, yes there are there are there's some nice videos on uh, youtube as well i suppose any opening uh you know once you get to know it there uh, it becomes a form of a favorite for you and and you, you know their traps just like uh I, um eric rosen's eric rosen's uh uh stafford gambit uh what was that the, the gambit that that's an offshoot from the uh, petrov so he can't really take on e5 here yeah let me see if i can just position my camera a little bit better just give me a moment here okay let's try to put it centralize my camera a little bit i'm sorry about that i'm gonna remove it off the tripod and then put it square on my face so that you can see but then it might be a little bit smaller here okay how's that maybe that's better okay i've got my lighting yeah okay good so whose turn is it right it's my turn now so yeah stafford stafford really fun and uh you know uh, a lot of traps with the knight bishop and the queen and on the h2 square and and if white doesn't play carefully then he gets uh he gets blown away so what do i do with my black bishop here uh what do i do with my black bishop here okay maybe i'll just develop it because this this could be under threat you could take takes and then queen goes to b6 and maybe i can go bishop here i feel i kind of feel like if white knows knight c3 knight c3 queen f3 h3 black is busted no oh, yeah but be careful with this though yeah so i've been also searching for a lot of uh, animated gifs uh backgrounds that i can take on the fly put in and actually i can uh it's not just animated gifs on i can change on the fly it's also the background any picture so uh one day you know if let's say i were to do a study or story on uh, tell the tale of maybe uh what's his name uh Rete, richard retty richard retty is a very uh, interesting personality and uh, i could use the background as a kind of a slide kind of thing so i could show different slides and when i show the different slides i can actually turn off the i can just nuke you just turn off the entire uh, uh chess.com interface and then put it back in again so for example this could be one slide and then i show another slide and uh, let's say uh, this could be another slide right and that's another slide so you, you get a picture so so with this thing right uh, uh you can actually use the uh, interface as a slide itself and let me just put back the board and everything and i'm trying to find a way whereby i can blank off the main uh chessboard and just put a smaller chessboard uh, at one point or so, I think on D-Chess, I could actually remove off the chessboard and just leave the pieces al al alone. And it was fully playable as well. Yeah, so these are some of the things I have in mind. And uh, it's a way whereby uh, I don't have to switch applications. Um, it's just totally within chess.com. And I'm just uh, putting a background at, at the appropriate moment. So that's, that's the whole idea. Uh, that's something that's new i don't think anyone else has done that yet so it's kind of kind of new i have put up some uh whoa uh gm daniel tbl thank you for the follow yep uh, i'm malaysian i i'm not british i'm malaysian i'm not malay i'm malaysian chinese uh i'm not chinese i'm malaysian <laughs> chinese are those from mainland china yeah no problem no problem uh Thanks, Mon Sopiat. Uh, look as you please, yeah. Look as you please. I'm just having fun here. And uh, come and go as you please. Not, not, a, not an issue. Sure, no problem. 
But if anybody wants to issue me a challenge, you can go ahead. Uh, just let's play unrated, okay? Just just have a uh, what do you call it? A chill, uh, stress-free evening. Just uh, playing chess. Yeah, so I can see GM uh, Daniel TBL has been uh, has followed. That's his name. That's his username up there. So uh, that time when I was wanted to get back into streaming, I was thinking, <clears throat> what am I going to do about the interface? You know, I didn't want to use the same old uh, my, my usual interface. So I decided to be a bit more creative. And so I did some research how to uh, how, how is it possible to customize the uh, leading <clears throat> um, chess platforms, and one of them. The other one is uh, Lee Chess. I've also got it. So maybe in my next stream, if I stream on Lee Chess, I'll show you uh, what the uh, Lee Chess uh, now totally looks like for me. Of course, all this is client side. It's not server side. Yeah, it's on the client side. Uh, but which, but what what it means is that I can actually customize Lee Chess as well <clears throat> to have the backgrounds, or also to customize the uh, the features, not features, the uh, look and feel of the interface to make it look a little bit more modern. Now these are all uh, using tools that are existing. So if you go to my YouTube page, yeah, I don't, I don't think I've seen anyone else using two as well. <laughs> GM Daniel TB, TBL got ranked by Durian Defense. Yeah, um, if you go to my YouTube page, I'm sorry, uh, you you'll find that uh, my YouTube page. You just look for. Uh, let me type it on the chat. Yeah, so on YouTube, search for. Uh, chess.com customization uh, animated GIF. Then you'll see my, um, what happened to my music? You'll see my uh, YouTube videos. I've got three of them. I've got three YouTube videos and they all talk about the same thing. Uh, three different videos, but talking about the same things. Three different instances of the uh, the background. And, and in the description, I put all the resources that I use. I put all the resources that I used to uh, come up with this. What happened to my music? Eek. Oh, I just lost my music. Okay, let's put it back. Okay, it's back again. Good. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Black's playing okay. Black's playing well. Okay, I kind of like the uh, the ocean ocean bed uh, background, so I'm going to change back to it right now. So let me remove off the vodka and the rocks. I call this vodka and the rocks. Let me remove that. So now I've got this, and uh, I uh, which do you think looks better with or without the overlay board? Uh, what is this right now? Oh, this is with the overlay board here. Yeah. Okay. Whose turn is it right now? Right now it's uh, Black's turn. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> let me just uh, change the, the layout a little bit. So I've also got this, I've tested the, the layout on that. And now you see on the on the right hand side, you've got the uh, move list as well as the uh, status, the game status there. My time, I don't have much time, do I? Okay, never mind. Uh, and I can actually remove off the, uh, let me remove off the right panel here. So that goes to the right side bar. You see that? So this is all within chess.com. Chess okay, let's just go for broke. I've only got uh, one and a half minutes left. So uh, I'm the type of guy who, who likes uh, art, the artistic side of things. And uh, I like uh, modding, modding hacking programs. Uh, one of the programs that I games that I actually am a model of is uh, a game called uh, Tornado. It's a 1993 DOS uh, flight simulator, simulating simulating the Panavia Tornado. So uh, I managed to get hold of the source code, courtesy of the ex programmer, uh, also through with consent by the uh, the owner of the code, the publisher. Uh, but uh, and that was done because <coughs> they wanted to see if we could revamp. Or, uh, you know, uh, come up with a spiritual successor to the 1993 game. But uh, in the end, in the process, the end in the end was that I managed to uh, make about 200 customizations. 
200 customizations of the assembly language code and uh, so modding is my kind of thing and it extends also to HTML and uh, CSS cascading style sheets kind of thing like what you're looking at right now so I hope to be uh, come up with more creative stuff to show you guys the next time and uh, if you go to my YouTube uh, videos on the customizing the chess.com, even the chess, I've got one video on the chess. How, how you can see what the screen on the chess looks like. Um, in all three videos, I've, in the description, I've put all the tools that I used. Yeah, um, in case you forgot, we've also got the lol command here, and you've got a quote command. Right, that's the jokes thing, and of course you've got the blitz command. I don't know. I don't think I've got rapid though. Uh, during defense, so blitz. I'm sorry. Let's try that one more time. I'm I'm running low on time, so uh, let's go for let's go for this. I think I should be safe on the king side. Uh, it's not working, is it? That's strange. Okay. Sorry. Okay, no, no, Streamlabs is fine. I, I think it's mine. Uh, I was, uh, I'm playing the video, the, the music video from YouTube. Oh yeah, the Blitz command's not working. Uh, should be working, I don't know why. Not too sure. It was working the last time, but that was many months ago. Ah, there you go. It's working now. Hi, our own, our own 3D and others. I can see your username there, but uh, it's okay. I won't call out anybody in the chat. Whoever chats, and I'll just talk to chat with you. No problem. Yeah, it takes it from chess.com actually. Takes it from .com. Hmm. I'll try that one more time. I don't think, I think bullet. Yeah, I guess it works fine. A bullet and a blitz does work. Spawn's protected, so maybe I can move my rook here. Just triple up on the uh, triple up on the hit on the G file. Uh, here we go. Let's do a triple battery. Not really much time left. How does uh, white win here? Not very sure. Probably something a sack there, maybe. Does that win? Maybe a maybe bishop here then. Bishop here, bishop to b4 to cut off the king. So I've got uh, how much time left? Yeah. Simon, Simon Williams knows what to do here. Okay, let's uh, block off the escape route of the king. Uh, rats, threaten the queen. He's got that, I suppose. Check, he's got the rook coming in there. Nah, this is not gonna work. Ah, Screwed it up. 
You should feel proper bills the right way. There. This my king is safe for the time being, but I only have 22 seconds. So does he? He's got 22 seconds as well. So let's check and win the rook. This is under attack. Oh, he's got that right. Okay, let's go in all the way. Do I have a mate? I've got a mate here. Ah, he escaped. Rats. The win the queen. Oh no! Blundered! No, no, no! Rook check, rook check, rook check, rook check! Ah, uh, no time, no time, 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 time. Okay, mucked it up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna win on time. I'm gonna win on time. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, liberal sorry boy, you played well there just now. Uh, well, okay, as well as one can when one is streaming and when one is playing live I suppose yeah and liberal sorry boy you want to play uh, another match another game GG yeah GM Daniel TBL G LOL LOL GG yeah uh, liberal soy boy is uh, GM Daniel TBL right send you an invite okay sure I'll do so right now uh, let me see you right now okay just a moment yeah so let's go to members. I'm sure, there's an easy way to do this. Uh, liberal. Soy boy. Soy boy, because you like soya bean, is it? Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, challenge. Okay, let's play another 10 minute game. Uh, what happened here? There should be a way just by, just by clicking on your username and then by clicking the uh, challenge icon. Yeah, that's right. Okay, what's happening now? Oh, because I removed the panel, that's right. Okay, that's one of the drawbacks here. I forgot to put back the panel. So let's put back the right panel. Okay, Arsenal fan Rich, uh, thanks for dropping by. Uh, enjoy the studying the puzzles, yeah. Thanks, thanks for dropping by. Much appreciated. Uh, it's always fun having you guys, having you around. Uh, yep, stay safe. Same thing to you, uh, Arsenal fan Richie. Ten minute game. That's good. Catch you another time, yeah. Oh, why is uh, why is it flashing? Uh, it's got to do probably with the animated GIF as well. Okay, let's try changing the uh, pieces this time for a change. Maybe I'll try bubble gum or something like that. Maybe I'll try bubble gum. Bubble gum looks uh, pretty decent, I think. Is it going to change? There you go, changed. I wonder what opening uh, Bishop F4 is. E4, Bishop F4, it's a London. That's a London, isn't it? And how does one play the anti London? London, uh, no idea. I haven't uh, studied Eric Rosen's uh, YouTube videos yet. castles okay let me switch the interface to the bigger screen so now I've got it on the bigger screen here uh, what do we do here whatever plan probably something like that depends where the white king goes okay let's try for a pawn break there this is also possible Reminds me of some of Kasparov's games against Kapov.
Oh uh, yeah, actually uh, I started off modding leeches actually. Started off uh, modding leeches first. I'm sorry, where was I? And uh, leeches of course is open source, so there's so much more things you can do with uh, with uh, leeches. In fact, leeches is much more customizable compared to chess.com. With chess.com, I can just remove things, add things, uh, sorry, hide things, show things. Uh, but whereas on leeches, you can change the entire outlook, the entire interface can be changed. So leeches is actually much better when it comes to, yeah, completely free as well. Uh, you can completely change it, it's completely free, there's no, you don't have to pay any uh, fees but the, the chess.com does have some pretty good features uh, some of them are for example the, the end game drills when you want to practice your end games, your drills are very important uh, the other one is quite very good, very well done I believe is the, is the analysis part of uh, your games after the games have ended by chess.com uh, but uh, a lot of people also prefer Leeches simply because it's uh, more than just more more than just because it's free, but also because of, uh, uh, I don't they just they just prefer it. But to me, I like both. Uh, Chess.com gives me a lot of colors, a lot of uh, creativity as well. Yes, analysis is a paid feature. Uh, I've got the gold. I'm a gold member. I'm not a diamond member. I don't need a diamond membership. So. Uh, yeah, for the analysis part of chess.com, you got to pay a monthly fee. The, I think the entry level fee is uh, what gives you, I think, uh, uh, up to five analysis, is it? Or is it more than that? I can't, can't remember. Again, it's all up to your budget and, and uh, your, it's up to each person's perceived um, benefits of staying free with freemium or, or by spending a bit of money. One of the best investments I ever made was to pay for a membership of uh, Chess Chess Vision AI. In Chess Vision AI, it's it's an app. It's an app for Android and iOS. It's also on the website. Uh, you can scan any picture from any book using your smartphone, and it can immediately call up uh, e Chess or Chess.com the analysis board, which is basically Stockfish. So. Uh, Chess Vision AI, uh, the best part about Chess Vision AI is uh, uh, you can get hold of a PDF chess book and then it will scan the entire chess book and after a couple of minutes when the, scan is, when the scan is finished all you need to do is click on any of the diagrams in the PDF page and uh, Chess Vision AI will immediately call up the call up the uh, stockfish on either leeches or chess.com yeah, it's just Vision AI. Uh, let me just show that to you. Type it in the chat. Just Vision. So the uh, PDF uh, book. The PDF book. Uh, let me open up another browser so that I don't change the stream here. Uh, I can give you the website. The feature which uh, converts a, a chess diagram from the PDF book that is a paid version. Vision AI. Uh, let me give you the website, Chess Vision AI. Here you go. Yeah, here you go. Website. So I don't, I don't work for them. It's just that uh, uh, enjoy. Uh, this is one of the very uh, useful tools. Yeah, welcome. Uh, the, the latest I've come up with is the app on the mobile phone. So when you use your mobile phone and you, and you point it towards a book, a real book, not, not a real position but a, a book, printed book, yeah? Uh, you point it to a page on, of the book that's got a diagram of the chessboard. And then you just snap the picture and send it to the server. The server will also, the server will also, uh, it will call up, the software will, or app will call up the stockfish from leeches or chess.com. Yeah, there are many who uh, say that uh, it's best to have a real chessboard in front of you on the table and the book uh, by your side. And then as you play through the games, you play through on the, the real chessboard. I suppose, I, I think that there's a lot of truth to that because uh, there's a lot of truth in that because uh, real games, rated games are played over the board, isn't it? OTB games, yeah. 
So the more you practice OTB by yourself, uh, that helps a lot when it comes to the actual uh, tournament games. But of course, with the pandemic and all, uh, not all of us get the chance to play OTB games. And unless you're in Europe, for sure in Malaysia, there aren't any OTB games, they're just online games. And of course, the more online games there are, the more uh, chances, high chances of, uh, of anyone cheating using an engine. I mean, it's interesting, you know, I, I, I was at, uh, I, I took part in one tournament, uh, not recently, but about two months ago. And we were asked to share our screen, yeah, to show our, share our screen using Zoom. But on Zoom, you can actually share your screen. Uh, I can, I can have two monitors. I'm sorry, I can have one. My laptop is one screen and the monitor is another screen. So if I just share the, my screen number one, which is my laptop screen, uh, no one's going to look at my... No one's going to see my uh, second monitor, my external monitor, unless they've got a, I've got a webcam pointing behind me. But in this case, I didn't have a, a webcam pointing behind me. So I could have easily uh, put something on my second monitor and without anybody knowing, you see? So there's always the chance that uh, <laughs> if the stakes are high, then people will be tempted to cheat uh, on online, online platforms and online uh, tournaments, which is kind of sad actually. So it's happened at the highest levels. It's it's the uh, it's not just in chess that's happening. It's also in in um, esports. Yeah, esports. The hackers in some countries who earn big bucks because people buy the hacks online. Yeah. Even with a webcam, people can switch it. Yeah, earpiece. Yeah, correct. <clears throat> These days, uh, the electronics have been uh, shrunk. Have been shrunken into uh, what they call it. They're able to string the uh, miniaturize the devices. We're talking not just about uh, earphones, uh, microphones, earpieces, but also the um, webcams. Yeah. So, yeah, it's possible. It's possible that uh, that one could switch it, but uh, really, it's. Uh, it's a bane, it's the bane of the, uh, the, the industry actually for that to happen. It's sad that it happens. Okay, I gotta get my pieces out. Actually, night. Yeah. So I need to get my rook out and I'm, I'm up. Uh, I'm up a piece, but the position is pretty much closed still. And how many pieces, how many pawns does he have? I've got five pawns. He's got one, two, three, four, five. He's got two, he's got two pawns for the piece and an exchange. But I've got the two bishops, and uh, yeah. So uh, coming back to the training on on uh, using a real chessboard, yeah, I think that's the best way. And the best chessboard is actually a, for me would be a would be a DGT uh, wooden chessboard. That would be fantastic. Okay, what's the plan here? Maybe just play that. Check. Oh, I just lost a pawn. Okay, what if I... Oh no, that's even worse. Okay. <laughs> I'm concentrating. Not concentrating. Bishop here was the right move. Probably lost. Probably lost. Probably Bishop here was better. When the book comes in.
Yeah, this is losing too many pieces, isn't it? Lost a piece. No way. Ah, I'm not focusing. It is sufficient. Ah, that's a blunder. Okay. Uh, liberal soy boy, you let me off the hook. No one likes being like now I've got two two strong bishops, and uh, so the king is going to start to harass the pawn. Is there a knight fork here? Pieces hanging. Okay. Let's go for the pawn. Any night fox, any tricky night fox here? Okay, this pawn is the pawn chain is gonna fall. Now I've got a fast pawn. Let's push this pawn now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna queen first because my bishop's guarding the square. Okay, there goes the pawn. Okay, GG, uh, GG, liberal soy boy. Uh, I don't know why there's a flashing there. <laughs> no, I think sure one, sure one. Um, uh, the last part where the, I think there was a blunder there the, with the knight. Hey Hercule, good to see you. Sorry about the uh, nightbot. Uh, uh, it stops the uh, caps. Yeah, Hercule, so long I miss you. Missed me. I missed you too, man. I missed myself too. I miss everybody. Good to see you, Hercule. Yeah, it's been so long. Uh, you missed. You missed me. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you saw the time and you thought the rucksack works. Uh, GM Daniel TBL, good game. Yeah. You wanna play another one? uh okay no problem no problem sure uh football yeah ronaldo's gone off to uh, manchester united i believe yeah so he was there previously now he's back there uh Sokcha is gonna have a good good team this time all the best uh gm daniel tbl okay tbl so uh thank you very much for the games appreciated it it was good had a good time thank you very much yeah yeah, you too. Good night, man. Good night. Yeah, so Hercule, uh, long time no see. Yeah? How, how you been doing? You been doing okay? So let me just go into the analysis part. Let's look at analysis. Uh, uh, let me see. Yeah? If I remove the sideboard. Okay, let's go to analysis. Yeah, Hercule, this is my first time streaming for, I think, the last five months I haven't been streaming at all. But uh, I was kind of busy with work and other things. Okay, this is a bit of a problem here in the sense that if I show the analysis, then it's going to overlap with the, uh, it's going to overlap with the chat, unless I put the chat on the right here. But never mind, I can also turn off the analysis part. So let me just turn off the analysis. Uh, right sidebar, so that that's gone. So
so I can just follow the, the bar, the evaluation bar as well as the uh, symbols, the symbols on the chessboard. Of course, if I wanted to see the uh, analysis, then I have to turn it back on. I probably would have to have a different scene. Yeah, probably would have to have a different scene for that. Okay, I think we'll just leave it as it is. I was just playing some uh, unrated games with uh, Liberal Soy Boy. And uh, no, some no stress games. Let's see where I went wrong, yeah? Yeah, that was a good move. Queen to... Okay, Queen to b6, yeah. Rook takes... Rook takes... Bishop. Uh, that was a poor move. Bishop to e6 would have prevented a check because I lost a pawn there. So basically that was a bad move. Why is that a star move? Why is Queen f7 a star move? No idea. Doesn't it lose the pawn? Ship to e7. Yeah, it's flickering. Yeah, there's some flickering going on. Okay, so let me just change back. Move back the blue version. So let's just go back here. Okay, let me just stop my. Uh, Need to disable my club arena uh, timer. Yeah, so I kind of like this uh, background here. This is uh, uh, gradiented green uh, chessboard, three D chessboard, basically an overlay as well. But it, whatever an overlay is, so uh, all, all, of course, not many people use green because uh, you know that's more meant more for the green screen. But uh, I'm kind of kind of liking this uh, gradiented background that I created that I'm using for my own uh, chess.com account, and it sort of uh, goes well with the durian theme uh, color. There's a mascot there at the bottom bottom right hand corner is a mascot. I call him. His name is Duri. D U R I. Duri is Malay for fawn. So I think I'll just relax for a while and if there's anybody in the chat you want to chat with me, uh, go ahead, you know. In the meantime, maybe I can just experiment a little bit with uh, some of the other backgrounds that I have created as well, that I also have available for my for chess.com. I'm just going to take a break, short break from uh, playing right now, playing the unrated games. Okay, let's try this one. Com, hyphen, uh, retro room, retro room GIF. Let's put in the retro room GIF. Does that work? Okay, just hold on a second here. 
just gifs. Ah, okay. It's missing the subdirectory gif. Gifs, so now it should work. There you go. Okay, not exactly the best uh, animated background, but at least there's something there. So let me just see if I can move off the right sidebar. So what do we have here? Yeah, well, at least it's an alternative uh, background there. So something which I can do on the fly, also. And uh, let me just put it back. Let's put back the, the spot. I can remove off the sidebar. It's kind of hard to play actually because the background is so noisy. Uh, Yeah, I should put an overlay here. So let me look at that. Press room shift. Try. So you're able to see the code. Let's see whether the background changes or not. Yeah, not exactly the best chessboard, but uh, black. Okay, that, that wasn't what I wanted. But basically, I can also, uh, of course, change the chessboard. And, uh, not, not everybody's liking, of course. Uh, this needs to be designed a little bit better. But basically, I can uh, change things on the fly. So, the, so it's kind of nice. Um, just rocks, sorry, just rocks. Try this. Uh, okay, let's use a different overlay because the standard uh, default overlay from standard, uh, what do you call it? Standard uh, overlay from chess.com is way too light. Let's try this one. Okay, that's a little bit better. So, uh, the chessboard is still a little bit translucent, yeah, you can see right through it. So, so basically, uh, I can change the uh, background to suit uh, the chessboard to suit the background as well. So, that's, that's some of the things that I'm able to do. So, let me see what else I can do here. Articles, articles, GIF. Let's try this and see. Problem with the code there, so let's get this thing done properly.
Okay, there you go. So basically, I can. Uh, okay, just board is uh, not to my liking. So let's just change the just board. Uh, Particles drift. Okay, let me remove that. Yeah, well, that's terrible actually. But anyway, uh, you get you get the idea. Come up with a better, better board here. Let's see whether we can do this. Does this work? So instead of using overlay, I can also use the uh, neon, for example. So that would be okay. So I can change the chess board back to something like this. Yeah. Uh, let's say we just go for the usual stuff. Let's say we go for glass. Uh, glass is nice. Uh, board. Board, of course, glass and glass, you know, kind of dark. So try ICC and see. So there you go. So so basically, if anybody's watching this, uh, what you can do is with uh, some CSS cascading style sheets uh, and some examining of the chess.com code is that you can modify client side uh, the way the website looks to you. So what I've done is. Um, I've, create, uh, I've uh, customized the chess.com experience for myself and for streaming so that uh, more focus is on the chessboard and of course I also uh, want to explore the, cre the creative part of putting in animated GIFs which are appropriate and animated GIFs which somehow um, uh, uh, add to the experience rather than to detract from the chessboard itself or to distract the chess. Uh, of course, it will always be distracting because the, it's something that's unnatural. For example, this uh, particles, uh, abstract particles, GIF, animated GIF, or live wallpaper, it's not something that you see every day. It's interesting, it sort of makes the uh, background uh, liven up quite a bit. And of course, if you're able to focus on the chest, then fine. So the, the, the animated uh, live wallpaper is just a side show. Uh, but still, it's something that's different and uh, something that's uh, makes this uh, channels to stand out is that I want to uh, at, 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 whenever possible to explore the uh, creative part of modding of modding code and of uh, coming up with new designs okay, let's change that settings 140 okay that's good that's fine so the time now is 10:20 uh, p.m. Uh, Malaysian time. If uh, anybody wants to challenge me to to, uh, to a game, uh, sure, go ahead. Otherwise, I'm just going to continue to uh, experiment with the screens. Marble sounds quite nice. And then you've got uh, translucent. Translucent is quite okay as well, but a bit dark. But here it's not not too bad. That, but still uh, a little bit tad dark on the dark side so when you change the uh, pieces to neon the neon uh, chest pieces will really stand out a lot either that or bubblegum or nature nature is a bit of a yellowish uh, background so it's, it's got a bit of a oh that's interesting I've never seen that before so now now you see the, the hue of the uh, screen it's, it's mostly uh, brown dark golden brown Kind of thing. So the particles are basically the same hue as the uh, white chess pieces and the black chess pieces of the nature chess set on chess.com. And the chessboard is actually uh, translucent, so <coughs> it it gives out the uh, brownish hue as well. So this this is something that's nice. Uh, you know uh, what 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 I really want to do one day is to come up with a YouTube video where I showcase the different uh, creative ways of uh, the, the the different chess mix the different combinations of uh, chess board, chess pieces and animated background uh, that I can use that I think are interesting that I like uh, where I like the design 
So if I have a compilation of this, then it will show you uh, what are the various uh, uh, possibilities out there, you know. So the, anything's possible with design. You can change stuff. Uh, now, of course, not everybody uh, likes to see stuff on the chessboard because it's noise, yeah. So we don't want that. Then basically what we can do is we can just change the chessboard to a 2D chessboard with uh, zero, uh, with 100, what is it? High level opacity, or rather totally opaque, 100% opaque. Can't see any light right through it. So right now it's totally translucent. So I can always change it to some other color. So let's try uh, brown. Does brown work? Yeah. Well, brown is too brown. Brown is too brown in the sense that it's uh, a common color. But uh, at least we managed to cut out the cut off the uh, floating stuff that's swirling around the chessboard. And so what what happens now is that. Uh, um, yeah, the, the background the background is interesting, but then again, uh, if somebody is playing in a tournament, would they want this? Uh, rather, I could ask myself the million dollar question: If I were to playing in a tournament, uh, would I want to have this? This purely for entertainment value, purely for the creative side of things, artistic for the artistic uh, uh, purposes, but for uh, actual uh, gameplay, actual serious tournament play, I don't think anyone would want to. To do this unless they were glutton for punishment, unless they were willing to open themselves up to making mouse slips or this or, or to commit uh, concentration errors due to due to the distractions that the designs are causing. But still, because I'm streaming right now, so I want to just showcase some of the things that are possible with the uh, chessboard and to say, hey, you know, maybe you can step back and uh, just look at the artistic side of things. And, uh, and just to say, hey, you know, uh, it's not all, it doesn't have to be the same every time. It's the same old chess board, chess pieces, chess colors, same old uh, static background. Why not Why not put in something unique? Why not put in something that is uh, that is different from from the rest? Something off the beaten, off the beaten road, for example. So when you come to a crossroad, uh, why not take the road less traveled? So that's my stand on the design part and I always, always, always to ask what if, always to be hungry, always to be uh, inquisitive and to say what if we do this, what if we do that and what if we try this. So that's what I'm doing right now and that's what I've managed to do with the customization of the uh, chess.com. So uh, I've also done it for Lee Chess and if anybody wants to play a game on Lee Chess I can show you that, right? Otherwise I'll just continue on with the continue on with, uh, with whatever customization work I'm doing right now. So before I go on, I'm just going to take a screenshot of this because I want to make sure that uh, I have this for my record. So maybe what I can do after this is I can also uh, you know, play some related games. But we'll see how it goes. We'll be just playing with it also. Okay, let's see what other backgrounds I have. Okay, let's try another one. CDC stands for chess.com. So let's have a green GIF. Let's put that in. Let's see what we can have here. Uh, now I'll try stream then. We'll try stream. River.
Okay, this JIF file is rather large, it's about 90 mega megabytes. So, uh, of course, not all 90 megabytes are downloaded at the same time. So, right now, you can see the animation is not, not the best because it is actually loading up the animated GIF. And animated GIFs, of course, are 10 times larger than MP3, MP4s. Animated GIFs are useful when they're small, but when they're large, they can be quite cumbersome. So even trying to uh, even trying to modify it uh, to compress it doesn't really uh, work sometimes. Try green chest spot for change. something translucent uh, glass maybe glass try glass what is glass and a little bit dark it's a little bit dark there so if I have to go for something else overlay I try overlay yeah so overlay uh, again you can see the uh, the waters flowing through the chessboard uh, that's that's an overlay that I'm using. So the overlay is not as, as see-through transparent as the default overlay from chess.com. Uh, just put back the center, the right panel. So I'm just going to put back the right panel right now. Sidebar right panel, so right panel. There you go. So this is what the uh, chess.com thing looks like actually, yeah. Maybe what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to play a game. Let's go to a live, a uh, new game. Let me just play an unrated game. Custom game. Let's go for five minutes. Uh, unrated. You can also put in Neon. Uh, neon, I think, would look... Uh, Look better. Let's try the new one. Would that be better? Yeah, well, it's a super bright. That's super bright. Again, not to everyone's liking, but. What on earth is this? Okay, let's attack his uh, D5 square right now. Can't be good. It can't be good. It's hanging, isn't it? Okay, let's go for the rook. 
how come I got a hundred hundred rated play? I don't know. I just played uh, because I'm playing an unrated game. That's why. <laughs> I don't know how it became hundred. Maybe it's because uh, he he started off as three hundred, then he lost or six hundred, then he lost his ratings. I wouldn't know. Free work, right? So, is there a mate here? Okay, we can push the pawn actually. So push the pawn. Push the pawn might even be better, right? So, the queen can only go one square. And then I go uh, queen to h5. Yeah, I have no idea, Hercule, why I got a 100 rated player. No idea. Is there a mate incoming? So the king can't move, you see that? The king can't move. The squares are blocked. So uh coming knight check and a queen queen or the mate. There's a double check there. So I wonder okay he missed it, so there's a double check mate there. So there's a checkmate instantly. Okay, you wanna play Hercule? You wanna play a unrated game or a rated game, whatever it is, up to you. If anybody wants to challenge me, go ahead. Yeah. So that was a quick win. Maybe I'll just do an analysis and uh, just have a look at the screen. Okay. So you you see here once again. Uh, you know, uh, in my design, uh, originally I had this uh, left hand side for the chat, but then what I discovered was that hey, you know, sometimes it's good to to show the full board uh, in the focus mode so when I do that then I need the left panel the light the, the left uh, empty space there to fit the icons of the player and the time so I couldn't put the chat, chat live chat there but because I put the live chat on the, on the right on the right uh, as well as my logos uh, this will clash with the side panel so what I can do now is uh, uh, like what I've done a few times in the stream I can just remove off the side panel by clicking on the uh, remove the side panel remove the sidebar there you go so now I've got a clean interface it looks uh, much neater and uh, this is what I've done and this is how I control the, uh, the layout uh, of course I lose the information from the analysis but uh, and the other ways of controlling it as well like for example having different uh, different scenes different sources or different scenes sorry but uh, it can, gets kind of messy when you use Streamlabs OBS, at least for me. So right now, if I were to put this back here, uh, yeah, there's, there's so much visual on the right, it's all cluttered. So this is something that can be improved. Because in, in, right now, if I want to uh, look at this, I, at least I can still see this part that's kind of useful. I don't get to see the graph, unless I change the graph. The setup was amazing. Okay, talking about the game, is it? <laughs> talking about the game setup or, or what? I guess you're talking about the game. Yeah, so um, here, of course, the, the webcam is a little bit too big. It hides the thing. So well, what can I do, you know? I can always uh, change this. And, but, but then, uh, you know, I lose, I lose. You, you, can't, you can never win. Never really win. Can't really win. So let me just undo that. Okay. So at least you get to see the score is 98.7. It's the first time I hit 98.7. Very rare, but it's a very uh, short miniature. So I think there's a little dip here. You can see there's a little dip. Uh, you can't see it. Let me move this off. Uh, what I can do is. Okay, another thing I can do is to click on the full screen. Ah, this, this is what I can do here. Okay, I got it, I got it. Yeah, so you can see that there's a little uh, dip there in the center where I actually had a better move. So I'd be curious to see uh, what, what, what happened there. So this is the best, one of the best parts of chess.com I like is actually the uh, analysis part and uh, this is very very well done. I think better than 
uh, the chess interface. So it's a book move, d5 is a book move. Knight f3, this is the queen's pawn opening. I've played this 2328 times with a 56% win rate. I've played this opening d4 and knight f3 2300 times. Well, I didn't realize that. Now that's a it's a poor move actually, but but anyway, uh, you know, it's just a narrated game. It's okay, but uh, the black should have uh, developed the piece. So c4, good move. Let me check on the chat first. Okay, so knight knight c3, cd. I found it. E4 was the best. Yeah, E4. You see the center. That's a good move. Bishop c4 is best. Knight f6. Okay, uh, what did I do wrong here? Overlook opportunity to protect an undefended piece. I think knight g4, knight g5 would have been best. Is that right? Knight g5? Oh, okay. Knight to. Yeah, this is way going too fast for me. So, anyway, let's have a look at that. So, instead of playing uh, pawn to e5, I should have played. Yeah, there is a pawn there. Knight out, knight out, takes. Because this uh, f7 uh, square is uh, threatened, so then he pushed in 6. This is a line, a uh, good D line. Knight takes and leaves a pawn there. Okay, great. I see that. Okay, there's question mark, question mark, pawn takes, knight takes. There, yeah. Okay, what was the best move? Mm. King check, of course. King check was best. King out. King out. Wins the queen straight away. Why does he win the queen straight away? First of a mate. What if uh what if queen here? One check. It's a mate here, isn't it? It's a mate in two, right? No. No, 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 no. No mate in two. Check. Oh, there's a mate here. Okay. Okay, let's play some uh, rated games then. Let's go back to. Let me go back to the playing hall. Let's play some five minute games and uh, start some real games. It's a rated game?
okay that's a little bit better now so now I'm a bit more focused uh, what is this now that is under threat Grab the pawn. So I've got this little thread here. Got the rook uh, thread as well. And the queen coming up as well. So if I to play this right now, it's got queen down, right? So let's just go for that. So where, where does the queen go? Probably queen goes here. I got pawn push to e6. So what's he gonna do about the threat to uh, b2? There you go, as expected. So now I get to develop with a tempo. So even my queen can come out. Um, he's probably gonna go here. Then I've got. Oh, okay, he's gonna win. A... He's gonna try to win something. Uh, not really. So can I get that? I've also got the queen move out here to force an exchange. So I tell what, let me just grab this first. But the rook isn't going to go anywhere. Okay, so now I force him to exchange the uh, queens, and this rook is uh, can be taken anytime. So if queen takes pawn. I gotta check here, right? If I get my rook, and also go here and guard, protect the. If I go here right now. Where does the queen go to? Queen is got no. He's got no squares. It's, it's trapped. Isn't the queen trapped? The queen is trapped, right? The queen is trapped. There you go. So I don't even need to take. Uh, <laughs> I don't even need to take the pawn. So the three pieces hanging. Black has got three pieces hanging right now. I think this is an unrated game. I when I click live play, it went into unrated. So okay, doesn't matter. So I can see the horse, uh, horse 0032 also uh, followed. So thanks for the follow. Uh, sorry, uh, I missed that earlier on. Yeah. So at least I have uh, two new followers today. Check in This is unrated, so it's gone into the pool, and I'm playing against a 1400 rated player. So after this, I'll, I'll play uh, rated games on uh, against the pool. For now, let's just uh, clean, clean up the floor, clean up the aisle. Okay, let's just develop the tempo. And get my pieces out straight away. So the bishop takes pawn. The knight out here is quite good actually. Knight out should have been better. Well, it doesn't really matter because in the end of the day, I'm up with full queen. So if anybody wants to challenge me also, go ahead, yeah, be my guest. Better rated or unrated, it's up to you, no problem. It's a maid in two, isn't it? It's a maid in two then. Okay, let's check me. Okay, so now let's play... Uh... Oh, I did it again, didn't I? When I click new, new, new game, it goes into unrated straight away. So what I need to 
do is oh he wants to rematch okay fine rematch okay rematch he wants to rematch uh okay Whatever you want, I'll be whatever you want. Just tell me you love me or not. Whatever it costs, I know I'm talking a lot. There's something I gotta get off. Don't wanna be this no more. I don't wanna drink no more. Always gotta do the most. Thinking that I'm insecure. Really should've listened more, but I don't, of course. I'm an asshole. I'm a good guy. I'm your best friend. I'm the worst type. Tell you everything that you heard right. Just so I can fuck on the first night. Feel like I'm losing hope. Okay, sorry about the music. Let's uh, change that to something else. Okay, I'm going to take a short break and uh, let me just put on the put on the river jib and uh, let's put it on the line. Five chests. Uh, oh, sort of messed up the whole screen. Rats. No screen's been messed up, so let's see if I can do something about this. Okay, we will be back later on. Uh, just take a short break.
oxygen All in an otherwise suffocating world I'm reaching out for arms I'm drowning in In the open-ended love with making girl My evidence you once really cared I'm reaching for a hand to pull me up, up One open to an everlasting love Exhale the past Inhale the future that lasts Change my heart, change my mind for the last time, I wanna believe in the life I've led. I don't wanna leave another word unsaid. You know my heart will follow you in tomorrow. In tomorrow. <laughs> Hey Hillkill, yeah I'm back. I'm gonna play some uh, rated 5 minute games here. Uh, at the risk of losing rating but uh, it doesn't really matter lah. Uh, hit a peak 2100 something last time so I think that's just fine. Yeah it always hurts to lose rating but uh, it's okay, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day uh, while well, playing is a 2093 rated player so let's play the Dura defense again let's see how I get when I get trashed okay, g6 incoming e5 we turn down the music a little bit the music is a bit loud for me okay that's a good move there targeting my c5 pawn I've got to be careful about not losing my, my knight here so now he's threatening a queen to d2. So I have to take evasive action. Either evasive action or play f6 so that my knight has a shelter. Uh, if I play this, f5 could be risky. Is it possible to play f5? Probably f5 is too committal right now. f5, queen. Uh, let's see now. F5, Queen D2, Knight to F7. Knight to F7. Queen D2, F5. I'm sorry, F5, Queen D2, Knight to F7. Okay, la, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. So with this pawn takes pawn then ah okay okay so now I got this I got pressure on the uh, b2 square there now if I castle I can play f4 it'd be good for me so now I'm gonna castle and I'm threatening to play f4 uh, even b we should fix that is not a not a uh, impossibility as well
Should I give up my bishop? Bishop takes pawn push f4, rook takes. Pawn takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, knight, pawn takes. Just let's just play it cool. Let's go for that right now. Push at least I got my G5 there. Ooh, light incoming. Light incoming. And what gets slotted, I think. Uh, pawn takes. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Light out. Okay. Time to uh, develop the knight. So knight to f4 is met by uh, knight to e5. <coughs> De defending this square here. Well, if I can get my pawn push, that'd be good. I need to get my king working. I was waiting for this. Okay, now uh, that square is defended there. But it's got an f4. On push, now uh, do I have this? Do I have that? Knight takes. Um, okay, let's go for it. Can I jam this up? I think I'll take this bishop. Lah. The bishop is good. There's got to be something here. On takes bishop out, queen goes here. Okay, let's let's in, let's bring the queen into the game. So open up the diagonal for the queen. That's a threat there. There's also Imposan here. But at least my bishop is covering that. And now I'm trying to blow open the center. Uh, I take pawn. Let's do this. Let's grab that. Now I've got this. And I've got the f4 pawn push, and that will close up the the f file. So you can't take this because of the. Okay, there you go. Now if it takes pawn, takes pawn. I got knight takes pawn. So this is a very good position for me. I'm closing up the center. We got this uh, thing there as well. Now I can go for a pawn break here as well. And maybe even queen to f6 is good. So this is uh, not looking too bad uh, during defense actually. <laughs> and there's also this f3 square here that, that my knight is pretty strong. So I got a queen on the f6 looks very strong because then I've got this. Now I've got this thing coming in. Hopefully it doesn't push the pawn. If it pushes the pawn, I will still take with the queen. Okay, so incoming. Uh, knight takes knight, doesn't matter. So now I threaten, <coughs> open up the line against the king with a b5 pawn push. Uh, this is defended, that's defended by the pawn even. Uh, even the pawn push was good, isn't it? Even pawn push was quite okay just now. Uh, huh, here we go, I'm threatening that. Even this is hanging. Even that was hanging just now. Okay, I just moved it there. So I had to go for the exchange. Shall I go for the exchange? Or can I just grab the grab that first? Maybe just go for the exchange first. Pom 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 pom. Check. One minute to go. Rook takes pawn. King takes. Check. Okay, leave the knight there because I can get a queen fork. Maybe I fork the queen. The king and the queen just uh, if he gets his to move his king to that square, and now I think he's lost. He's lost because it's a queen incoming fork there, just nice. 
now win the Queen. And with that, the game hopefully, hopefully he'll resign. There's a pawn push coming here as well. So I got the bishop targeting that pawn as well. Now pawn push is incoming. For sure it's incoming. So this has got to win. Now it wins the rook, I win the piece, I win the game. Yeah. He's definitely going to win the game because, uh, yeah, he resigned. Well, there you go. I beat a 2085 player. Uh, got 8 rating points. Heading towards 2100 maybe. So let's, uh, I like this game very much. Uh, let's try to analyze the game. Let me try to analyze the game. Um, I think what I can do is I can uh, copy this. Hold on a second. Let me duplicate my scene. Uh, full analysis. Nice game. Thanks a lot. Let's let me analyze it. Uh, I just need to change something here. This has got to go. My my. Uh, my webcam has got to shift down. I'm looking in the wrong direction. And then this one, the Durian defense thing. Let's uh, move my mascot. Let's shrink my mascot a little bit. And shift it all the way up here. Uh, okay, hold on a second. This one goes down here. This is the Durian defense. The defense. Ah, uh, rats. Sorry about that. Hold on, yeah. Bear with me. Uh, Bible verse. Bible verse. <laughs> uh, wait, I'm modifying something else. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Mascot. That's my Bible verse. Just a moment. There you go. There you go. Sorry to have to do this on the fly. Bit of an OCD when it comes to this. So let's try to get it done properly. Okay, let's get our mascot a little bit bigger. This is uh, Dewey, D U R I, short for Duvian. I invented him, designed him myself. And uh, chess.com. Chess.com will be maybe somewhere in the center. Right, just leave it there first. Uh, uh, this one will be some. Okay, fine. Uh, what else is missing? Oh, the chat. Bummer. Okay, just hold on. Uh, chat, 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 chat. Chat key. Okay, sorry chat, but to regulate you, regulate it to the uh, corner here. Too small actually. Too small to be of any use actually, but it's okay. Cheers. Okay, so now... I think... Uh, Not exactly the best design, but heck, uh, at least I'm doing some things. Uh, a poor plan is better than no plan, right? That's what, that's what somebody said. That's just too bad. Okay, anyway, uh, let's analyze this. So what I do, go for a review. Let's look at the accuracy. I don't know, was it 80%? I, I have no idea. 73%, that's pretty bad. Yeah, I made three mistakes and uh, zero blunders. Now, again, my webcam is uh, in the way. Let me just modify that a little bit. I think I, I think this, can I can afford to push it up right in the corner here. So that would be better. Okay, so let's play through this uh, analysis. Hey, uh, J J L A I one 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 one. Hey, hi. Uh, thank you for the follow. Looking good today? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my first time streaming for five months. I think I stopped streaming for five months to concentrate on on work and other things which were neglected. So 
So now I'm uh, back to chess and streaming and thank you for joining. Thank you for the follow. Yeah. So I'll just finish the game with my Duran defense against a 2093 player. So now I'm just doing the review. Uh, let's just do that. Okay. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Okay, maybe the background is a bit distracting, so let me just change it back. Let me remove off the blue ocean and let's get back to green here. Okay. And uh, what, what do you think about the, the green the green ocean animated GIF? <laughs> That's the background for chess.com. So I managed to do some hacks with the design. Okay, I don't know which is more informative, uh, this guided analysis or the, the review or the analysis. Okay, let's use, just go with the analysis anyway. Uh, with the review first so there you go nice nice h6 c5 uh, pawn push is quite uh, standard sometimes it's actually engine says to take pawn takes pawn so g6 uh, to develop my bishop the bishop comes out with a threat on uh, the c5 pawn let's go through that uh, d6 to protect the pawn also to bring out the to activate my light square bishop uh, bishop to e2 good move because there's a chance chance of white uh, trapping the uh, white trapping the, uh, the bishop uh, the knight sorry on h6 so uh, what I did was I went straight for my pawn break this, this is more active compared to f6 pushing the pawn on f6 a bit more passive then uh, white would build up his pieces and push towards the center so here actually because I've got a good diagonal with my bishop I've got a good bishop there so here the bishop grabs the diagonal already there's a threat on the b2 square and in some cases, actually, it's okay to uh, exchange the uh, bishop on the knight on c3, uh, leading to a close position. But then there are too many dark square weaknesses, and this bishop will, will become stronger. And uh, too many dark square weaknesses around my king, so I didn't quite uh, decide to go for that. Besides uh, castling, oh, okay, let's have a look now. Uh, what did I miss? Zero zero is an accuracy. I missed opportunity to trade queens, to, to trade pieces. Nice c3, uh, show line. Pawn takes pawn and castles. Okay, because of the e5 square. So this was uh, something that could have happened. Yeah, e5 square is strong, right, for the knight. Knight, out, the knight outpost. H5. Uh, dubious move. I missed a chance to threaten taking a piece. Show the line. Oh wait, 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 wait. How do you control this thing? Uh, instead of playing h6, what I should have done was... I think we'll go to analysis and see. h4 is excellent. Uh, and then if I go to h6, that was bad. What I should have gone for this. Pawn break instead. If I go to the review, does it show me the, the better move or not? It doesn't show me the better move. Okay, that's way too fast. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Let's backtrack. Let's go back to analysis. So I've not quite gotten the hang of the review yet. How to best make it of the review. Probably have to check on YouTube to educate myself on that. So for now, let's just go through the analysis. Step by step, slowly. Okay, so uh, I've got my dark square bishop now. It's threatening the knight, so I got to I have to rotate the knight to f7. Um, <clears throat> was this a better move? Ah, uh, this is a better move because there's a queen check, regaining the piece on uh, h6. I missed that. So so e5 would have been good because if pawn takes pawn, then I develop my bishop. But if the pawn doesn't get taken, then I have a threat of of uh, pushing with. Uh, f4 right obtain a pawn structure that way so basically a basic king's indian attack where i can uh, where i can actually do a king side attack but then he'll probably castle on the queen side and i'll put my pawn break on the king side as well so it's quite an interesting position uh e5 was <coughs> i really must put this in my repertoire and study this because e5 is something which i totally missed so that was still the best move, uh, it's still the star move and he should have taken straight away, he didn't and that was, that was bad, I think a b5 move would have been better straight away what happens if, 
What happens if I push b5 and it took with the uh, bishop? What happens next? Is it queen? Is that is that a move? Queen to b6. Continue to win this. And then this pawn is targeted, I suppose. So is that the best move? Or is it queen to a5 is the best move? This is the best move. Queen queen b6 is the best move. Because now I'm threatening this <coughs> meter threat is to hit hit the knight and take the bishop. So the b2 pawn pawn will fall. C C C3 and A1 will be uh, targeted as well. So so b5 was a strong move. Is that what did I do? Uh yeah, I, I was too timid actually. Trying to prevent h5 with the g5. So dubious move there. So that's a star move. Now that's a dubious move. Should have taken on the spot. Because now he can take back. So I suppose the move he missed, missed was, was to take the pawn, uh, e takes f5 immediately. There you go, the engine suggests uh, e f5. Right. Because he didn't do that, again this is a dubious move. Mm. Can't read the engine's mind, can I? But I suppose f4 was incoming. No, f4 was a typical human move. <laughs> so that, and then followed by. Probably breaking open the center. If he took here and I took back, what, what would happen? Okay, see ya, JJLI. See you then. Take care, yeah. JJLI1111. One, 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 one. Quadruple ones. Take care, yeah. Enjoy yourself. Thanks for dropping by. So, if pawn takes pawn, uh, is, this, is this the move? Is that the move? Did they open the center? The, maybe you should just hustle. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Then that also. So then, then of course, uh, black would be in a bit of a trouble here because you know, rook, bishop, queen, knight could have been a, could have been a massacre. Okay, so that was a mistake. Uh, and then was that the best move? Yeah. There's a star move there. Knight, knight to g4, star move. Knight back. And then what did I do? Yes, star move there. Oh, again b5. Again b5 is the move. To activate the uh, rook also. Because the rook can be activated. So what I did was I went for this instead. Which is not as good a move. But what happened was he blundered here. Star move here. Yeah, because now I get to break open this. Well, actually, I broke open with the with the g5. Should be amazing, amazing. Pawn takes pawn because the queen is going to be discovered, and then there's a check incoming here as well. Okay, let's try that. Doesn't this work? Check. Doesn't because of king h7. So if I do this and he goes back, uh, what happens now? If he goes here, check. So queen has to go back here. Then now what? Bishop takes. So what's the best move? B5? Bishop takes. Bishop takes bishop, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, knight takes, queen takes. No, I don't see it. So maybe this move? Nope, bar goes right down. Is that what it should have done? Bishop takes knight. So bishop takes knight. Uh, bishop takes bishop is forced. Now what? Pawn push? Probably pawn push because this knight is pretty strong. Then probably bishop here. And then if he goes down here, that, does that does that does that work? Does that work? Then the queen here. Probably queen f6, rook f7, and rook here. So this bishop cuts across and the king can't escape. And and this knight is a strong hole there. It's got a strong hole. So so this is a good position to have. Mm, very nice, very nice position there. Uh, hold on a second here. 
Okay, here we go. Let's start comms, got to go a little bit more here. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, that looks that looks a little bit better now. Okay, so instead of all that, uh what I did was let's just go back. Uh let's go back to the main line here. So pawn push, queen there. Dubious move. Yep, good move. Queen takes. Why queen takes? We activate the queen straight away. One, two. Amazing. Queen takes, huh? Because the king is quite solid already. But I thought this was, this was a better move. No. So apparently that was a mistake. You should push the pawn straight away. Yeah, so queen there was a good move. So I'm actually threatening that that as well. That that could be possible. So right here. That's a wrong move. Pawn push was the right move. Pawn push. It takes it takes pawn knight pawn takes knight check the star move but didn't didn't even go down for black. So here we go. Check. Is that the right move? In here. What now? What now? One push. Queen check. Queen check. Out. One push. Check. Oh, there was a meat. Okay, so this part he totally missed uh, because I had the rook out here and that was definitely winning because that was a total blunder. Um, I shouldn't have taken that. I think he's really losing here. He went king here. Now nah, loses the knight. So the knight has got to move. That's a mistake. Probably because of this as well. Check. Yeah, that 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 loses straight away because of the mate as well. There's a mate coming incoming there. So basically, it's uh, what does what does the white knight do now? Pawn push is the best move. Pawn push, queen takes. That's a blunder. Probably here. Check. Basically, this is already losing all the way. It's already losing a, a piece there. Because if he didn't do that, let's say Black just uh, like to take this. This is a. Uh, 
Again, it's a mate, right? It's a mate as well. King check, king here, and then bishop, bishop to. Ah, oh, that's not right. Sorry. Queen check, king out. How do you deliver the final blow? Queen check, probably. Okay, thanks everybody. I think I'm gonna end the stream here right now, and uh, this has been a fun, uh, fun uh, time streaming away from uh, uh, since I've been away for so long. So thank you for dropping by, whoever dropped by, yeah, and for the two followers that I had. Uh, I think it's a good start. It's a good start, and uh, may, may there be uh, many more uh, streaming moments. And I'm not sure when I'll be streaming again. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe during the Independence Day weekend. Yeah, so uh, once again, this is uh, Frankie Kam from uh, Durian Defense. And uh, thank you, Hercule, for sticking around. Thank you for the support. <laughs> thank you for, uh, for keeping me company. Yeah, so hope you uh, enjoyed the game today and hope you enjoyed the, whatever I had to share. Uh, I kind of, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting to play an offbeat opening and uh, hope you learn something from that. So good night, and I'll catch you another time, maybe tomorrow, and maybe also during the birthday club weekend. Okay, uh, we'll end here right now. Thank you very much, and goodbye everybody. Adios.